Hello, welcome. I was also going to present it with uh, co-author uh, Michal Pavleta, but, but he is right now on the other session, so unfortunately I have to do it by myself. But what I'm going to present today is Archaeology in the Virtual Day of Archaeology 2015 in Poland. In other words, uh, involving people through a virtual European Day of Archaeology on the social uh, networks, a Polish case. So the following presentation uh, will introduce <laughs> very first completely virtual undertaking carried out on the Polish grant. Uh, serving communication of archaeologists, archaeologists and society. As a pilot program, we had a lot of various challenges, uh, many good ideas and great goals. Uh, however, working only virtual is not as easy as we really originally thought. So, very first uh, thing to present is the project that we are involved with uh, in, and because of it, the Day of Archaeology really exists. So the NEARC's main objects, objectives are to emphasize the social component of archaeology and involve citizens in, on the, in order to develop a sense of European citizenship. Project aims to explore and amplify the re relationship between archaeology and art. Uh, individual tasks are taken under, uh, undertaken to rethink and develop ways in which archaeology is communicated and uh, with special stress on different audiences' needs. New York also points to creation of new economic model for a sustainable practice of archaeology and uh, heritage management uh, with respect to promotion and new ways uh, of teaching archaeology and supports transnational mobility around uh, young graduates. Project also examines, examines the public relevance of European archaeology in wider ge geographical and cultural perspective, uh, within which uh, five themes uh, were um, divided and uh, we are uh, in the first theme, uh, namely involving, which is archaeology uh, for the community informing and involving people. And so it is, we've created uh, the Day of Archaeology. And what has to be mostly stressed, uh, that the Day of Archaeology in Poland is a pilot initiative. Uh, affiliated with the International Day of Archaeology in partnership with the NERC project, Day of Archaeology is pleased to welcome uh, this national initiative and looks forward to participation in the International Day of Archaeology 2016. Because actually the Day of Archaeology in Poland, so this pilot program was uh, a little false start. Uh, we tried to uh, show people what's really going on and have a little research uh, but really going to work. Uh, so these are a couple of other reasons uh, that we did this pilot program. Uh, so this is the, to test such kind of popularization archaeology in Poland and to test such kind of initiative on the local level before it will be transformed to a higher European level. Um, to find an effective way of reaching people and getting them attached, attracted to ar archaeology, to encourage them to participate in such kind of virtual event. Uh, also to test some practical tools uh, of such kind of engaging people in archaeology. And of course to gain some experience that can be implemented during the D-Day in the National International Day of Archaeology in 2016. And also we wanted to see how it will how it will work uh, on the national ground where well yeah internet is really really valuable but not really attended so much and uh, the day of uh, archaeology you know this proper one will be in 2016 so right now i would like to tell you all about the polish edition and this pilot program uh, during 2015 uh, look like from the very beginning of the and the preparations through the time of actual event uh, to feedback, evaluation and formulation of, postula of postulates for the future. So uh, let's start from the idea uh, of the Day of Archaeology. Uh, uh, this is the event that will be organized very first time and its goal is to promote archaeology through inter uh, integrally crea created content of the website. Uh, this event takes place completely virtually. Uh, so, and the first uh, day of archaeology in Poland was uh, organized in 2015, uh, 24th of July. 
And the general aim of the project is to show to as many people as possible uh, what archaeologists do and what archaeology is about, and to engage them uh, and to make them communicate with us. Uh, and so then everyone is uh, welcomed to participate in this event and share their thoughts uh, on archaeology in a short, uh, in the form of a short note, post, uh, or a picture uh, posted on uh, online on our site. Uh, this all event is settled in the context of International Day of Archaeology, but it reveals a local Polish context. So we tried to adapt uh, the adapted to a special, uh, specific Polish circumstances and background uh, to see how it really will work. And the presentation will be uh, divided uh, in subsequent phases uh, concerning second steps and preparations of Polish Day of Archaeology and uh, afterwards uh, evaluation of the whole our experience. So let's start with the preparation phase. Uh, we tried to prepare us well as possible. So we've researched a broader context of Day of Archaeology and the online uh, of the previous uh, events. Uh, we did the on overview of initiatives of, let's say, something like Day of Archaeology all over the world. Uh, and then the overview of past initiatives of popularization of archaeology and different ways of engagement between archaeology and society, including popularization uh, initiatives in Poland, which are slightly different sometimes. Uh, mainly these are um, festivals and rather real events than virtual. And uh, we participated in the very, like, parent uh, event for our pilot program, the British Day of Archaeology in 2014. And we made also a little internet poll about participation in virtual events. Uh, we had uh, over 100 respondents and almost uh, over 60% answered that, uh, yes, we did some day somehow uh, participated in such events. So, yeah, with this, we had great, great hopes. But what actually happened, uh, you'll see later. And so uh, the next preparation phase uh, is the con conceptualization of the concept of day of archaeology. We asked uh, ourselves uh, three questions, who, how, and why. So who? Um, hmm. Day of archaeology is an initiative addressed to each and everyone, to professionals and executors uh, working around archaeological research, students and young, gra young graduates, but mainly we wanted general society, the actual stakeholders of, uh, of the past, to engage the most. And the day of archaeology was uh, then for everyone uh, whose interests oscillate around past or archaeology as science itself. And then we moved, oh, sorry, we didn't move. Uh, we've asked ourselves question how. So we've led people to uh, do post by themselves. After registration, everybody has possibility to uh, post and add pictures and create their own uh, content on our web page. Uh, but there was also possibility to uh, send us uh, such, I don't know, a note or, or a picture or something that somebody just imagined about archaeology and we've uh, been posting it by, by ourselves. And why? Well, the goal of the Day of Archaeology was uh, introduction of archaeologist profession from the inside, so by archaeologists, and also to describe it uh, from the outside, uh, to show it how the general society sees archaeology or the past. And as, as we figure out the concept, uh, then we focused on the graphic design. And there it is. Uh, down is our logo. And uh, beneath uh, is um, communica communicating material. It says, day of archaeology, just imagine what archaeologists really do. Um, after that, actually in the same time, uh, we've been working on the site and its uh, look. Uh, to, uh, and along with that, with the social media accounts, uh, which you can see on the uh, right. And as 
these were very crucial as aspects because these are really only visual and like real things uh, which are uh, connected to the day of archaeology. We tried to do it as interactive and visually coherent and attractive as possible. Uh, sites had to also live, so we were trying to update it uh, as much as possible, sharing its content on Facebook and uh, making it so that it was just virtually visible when somebody just puts on Google general archaeology, it just pop up, pops up our site, and nothing else. And yeah, we did it. It went quite fine. And then we also gathered some sponsors, uh, uh, maybe not sponsored, but supporters and patronage from a couple of uh, bodies, which uh, logos you can see uh, on the slides. And this is a very important thing because it definitely levels up the rank of the event and mainly, uh, may, mainly it guarantees uh, an effective flow of information around different uh, policies. So not only students of our university sees it, but also uh, people who are uh, watching other other things uh, connected to our site. And uh, then we moved to dissemination of of the information about uh, our site and the whole event. And uh, we tried it verbally. We uh, talked to. Uh, university employees and students uh, we've been trying to advertise this as well as possible and uh, but also we did the promotion campaign uh, which was made by the polish press agency uh, they were working with us and they uh, proposed a sort of package uh, promotion package which was distribution of the information on the press releases and also placing information as the main event on their site and information combined in so social media which is visible uh, right here and as uh, they did that virtually we also did some physical things uh, these are leaflets uh, two sides of the leaflet, and the posters. Um, we tried to put them in a few places in the city, but yeah, this is the farthest we reached. We didn't reach other cities. Maybe this is the biggest problem in here. Um, and then, yes, finally, uh, also we uh, did some gadgets. Uh, these are uh, shirts and pen drives and uh, pens and some uh, lanyards, uh, also with the uh, logos and, and uh, information about the of archaeology. And after we did, did that, uh, uh, we also figured out that we have to prepare people that just keep them their interest. So we've created um, an accompan accompanying uh, event which was a competition with small uh, small awards and prizes, uh, prizes which were actually th those gadgets uh, for the best archaeological site in Poland, known or unknown. Uh, it was just uh, for anyone could could uh, put here uh, their proposal. And yes, the actual day finally arrived, came, and it was held in on at twenty fourth of July, two thousand fifteen. Uh, in the very beginning, uh, I'll just try to stress that uh, the promotion campaign was leading to it through, through the whole July. And uh, on the actual day, uh, there was also announcement of uh, competition results. And this is the winner. The winner was a uh, Gonski site, uh, which got over 200 votes. So it's not that bad. And. Yes, the very uh, event took place on 24th, but then we extended it to two weeks of archaeology. And the outcomes of those who, whole two weeks of archaeology are that we have al uh, almost 40, 39 registered <laughs> users on the site. Uh, 26 posts in total, but only eight on 24th of July. Uh, well, posts are created, were created by archaeologists and no archaeologists, which is for me the biggest success because yeah we've reached public somehow and mm, the posts were uh, about different subjects may um, like understanding of archaeology description of sites events personal thoughts referring to individual individual day of archaeology 
uh, descriptions uh, of personal undertakings and many others. Uh, well, everybody's welcome to read it, okay. Um, uh, and yeah, what we had to do after the day of archaeology was to collect feedback uh, and create evaluation uh, of the results and discuss some future possible, uh, possible strategies. And so we did it. Uh, well, as already mentioned, uh, Polish Day of Archaeology aims at familiarizing Polish society uh, with such kind of initiatives along with finding an effective medium to reach the public and encourage to participate in such initiatives at uh, local but also European level. So, well, on our local, really, really local level, uh, we have uh, tried to gather as many statistics as possible. As you can see here, this is a statistic timeline from our website, uh, which shows perfectly the power of uh, social media because all those highest, higher kicks are, um, well, days when we posted something on Facebook on, on or the actual campaign, uh, campaign of this press agency posted something. So. Uh, this is how we've tried to reach uh, an interest. And yeah, the statistics clearly show a daily interest, but actually it doesn't um, really follow the actual uh, participation. So yeah, that's the biggest problem. And uh, we've used the promotion campaign uh, and as we knew that we had to uh, have some help uh, of professionals who, who are doing and dealing with uh, public relation and uh, advertising all over uh, non-stop on a daily basis. Um, and also um, some reflection about this competition, uh, it encouraged people and really they were uh, they are trying to keep they, themselves updated with the site and with new proposals. So yeah, it works worked quite quite well. Um, and the, we've gathered some feedback experience as well. Um, I got some <laughs> some emails. Uh, I had some phone calls, and uh, all in all, it was uh, that. People really thought that this is a great initiative, but they wanted to wanted it to be real, not only virtual. Everybody said, "Wow, well, this is where does it take place?" And when I was saying, "Well, sorry, but only internet," it was like shutting down all the interest, which was really high at first. And some others are that there is, uh, yeah, there is a need to create site real event, go physical, not only virtual, and uh, to change the date. Uh, some voices postulated moving of the date to period after highest excavation time because it was held in July. Yeah, everybody's on excavation then. Uh, and archaeologists say that there are some difficulties with internet access on the site, so many of them didn't have possibility to just check in and, and try to post something. And surely this is a good idea to, uh, yeah, do it real and connect it with real archaeological events like Heritage Day and uh, archaeological festivals, which are uh, local initiatives. And uh, working out uh, local solutions, try to make it European-wide, but in local and regional context. So this is this is what we actually uh, gathered that. Uh, we find out, found out how people really think about that and that they need something physical that they can touch, not only say in the internet. That's our uh, explanation for that. And the future uh, is the plan for the, for the New York partners was to translate and, uh, the participation guidelines into their own language and publish in their own language, but on the existing site. We've made our own. and. That's what was said above was a plan for the next year. Uh, one day of archaeology will uh, have international outreach. We uh, will surely use experience gained in 2015 addition to support and make 2016 even better. However, we also want to sustain day of archaeology at our or original site. 
uh, so that it could serve as promotion platform for of knowledge and experience exchange. Uh, so that the goal for the following years is to par participate on the one hand in the International Day, but on the other hand to develop uh, our site uh, with a little different uh, aim, but still pointing uh, to uh, communication between archaeologists and non-archaeologists. So to sum up, uh, Day of Archaeology, the pilot program, Polish edition, uh, 2015 was important experience. Uh, we are now prepared to take part in the European uh, event in 2016, and which is International Day of Archaeology. However, it also showed that people uh, that Polish society prefers rather to look than to uh, actually take active part uh, in the new in new undertaking. So, um, and most of the people. Uh, they prefer a real event than only virtual one. So the combination of both uh, is, is really seemed to be needed. And the Polish edition of Day of Archaeology served as the promotion campaign for the next year as well. So probably a response in the next year will be much higher, which we hope, really hope to. <laughs> and, uh, um, and uh, we also we be better prepared and as we know and know our, our experience. Thank you very much.